Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. Um, it is the next day. I filmed myself writing my um, Hobonichi setup plan and I think I will include that clip in this video uh, because that's what we will be talking about. Uh, I finally have a clear vision of what I want to do with my books um, starting next year. Well, I say next year, but I think I will start using my books, at least a few of them, <laughs> um, in November. Um, so I will kind of keep you updated on that, but we will see. I will explain what this all is. Um, also, I broke my nail, <laughs> so don't mind too much attention to it. I have an appointment on Monday and today is Saturday, so we should be fine. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to say that and get that out of the way. Um, but yeah, I journaled, uh, or like not journaled, but I kind of wrote down what I want to do with my notebooks. So everything is kind of planned. Um, and I kind of want to explain that in this video. But yeah, I kind of wanted to sit down and film this video for me to refer back to. <laughs> and also, um, if you're kind of like confused about what you want to do with your books, I hope that this video will kind of give you some inspiration. I'm not doing anything insane, uh, but I think this will work for me and my needs. So obviously you need to find a setup that works for you. And I think this will work, but obviously because I will be using these books for an entire year, I think we will need to make some changes here and there. But for now, I think this is a good start. Uh, I will kind of start setting it up slowly um, because um, my weeks actually start in November, last week of November, um, the first week of December, I guess. So I kind of want to make sure that I'm setting things up so I can technically start using them in November, even though I don't really have a page for November. You will, this will make more sense once we get into the actual explaining. I will kind of move this notebook away, but I will probably refer back to it. Okay, so, um, let's just start. I will start with these books, uh, because I think this is your first time seeing them, so maybe you'll start with those. Um, I'll actually move them this side. Okay, so these are Moleskine pocket notebooks. Uh, they do come in a pack, so there's three of them in one pack. I got them because I want to have a little notebook where I kind of carry this everywhere with me, but also I wanted a notebook small enough that I could carry around. And plus, I kind of want it to be a notebook where I will just brain dump things, ideas, um, anything like that without really thinking how aesthetic it looks, if that makes sense. I got these small notebooks, like I said, they do come in a pack of three. Um, they're just black notebooks, uh, grid notebooks, I should say. I literally cannot use anything but grid notebooks. Um, <laughs> so I ordered these. Um, surprisingly, they were very hard to find, especially in this size, but I did find them. So I ordered one pack and we'll see how long this lasts me. They don't really have that many pages, but honestly, I think it should be enough. I will just take, oh, oh, it has a pocket. I did not realize that. Okay, okay, that's, that's interesting, but this will be very helpful actually. But like I said, I think this should be enough. This will go for a while. I will just take some notes. Actually, let me show you what I mean. Um, in this, there will just be like random notes. Uh, this year I kind of started using this notebook then I stopped using it, but it's basically going to be the same thing This one had a lot more pages. It wasn't um, It was just like a lined notebook That I got from one of my orders. They kind of send this as a gift um, But I just kind of Put like random notes here. I don't know if you can Read them but like I have this is a I think this was like at the start of last year, kind of. So I have like a little key, which I will kind of use a similar key, but we will change the stickers. But then I just have like my final exam dates, a intro text for my video, um, another 
video idea I guess this is. I'm just kind of like rambling about <laughs> something that I want to do in the video. I have my lecture notes here, more lecture notes. This is like a personal notion planning thing where I just put down some hex codes for colors and stuff, page ideas. Um, more journal ideas and YouTube stuff. <laughs> Lecture notes, I think. No, this is just this is just me rambling about more journal stuff. I think it's about Hobonichi notebooks actually. Um, university notes. Um, I didn't tag this, but I think this is journal ramble stuff. Uh, yeah, these are lecture notes. Um, more journaling stuff. Habit trackers, ideas. Uh, Twitch stuff. Um, finals. Oh, I think this is actually my last finals schedule. <gasps> That's insane. Oh my god. I still cannot believe that I graduated. It's insane to me. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> more journal rambles. Real ideas that I never actually filmed. Just me doing things. Books I bought. Video ideas. Notes. I actually don't know what this is. <laughs> so yeah, this is just like a random notebook where I put anything and everything. Um, and these were the keys that I used for this notebook, but I think we're going to change them. Or maybe for this notebook it could stay the same. We'll see. Um, so yeah, this is just going to be a notebook where it's not very aesthetic, but it will be just me rambling about things. So I will just use one of them for starters and then we will just kind of go, why is this thicker than the other? Oh. Oh. Okay. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Okay, I might actually cut this and stick this somewhere. Oh, we have a French version. Nice. I, okay, I think I will actually just have this and just stick it somewhere. That's cool. Okay, let me put it in my drawer so that I don't lose it. <laughs> okay, so I will just use, like I said, I will just use this one, one of them. And I did something because I wanted to decorate the cupboard a little bit because it was too empty. <laughs> On Canva, I did this um, and then I printed out. <laughs> it's black and white. I just put some photos and I kind of also have like a little rectangle here where I will put the dates or like the date that I started and the date that I finished the notebook. Um, this was just like the size of the notebook, so I don't know if you will be able to see it, but when I put this like at the top corner, this kind of where everything will go. Um, so I will just cut this and then I will explain what I did with the covers once we actually have it on. Okay, so I had to cut this off cam because I'm filming from my phone and my phone storage is full. So I had to like, Cut it, delete some videos, and come back. We should be fine now, but if you see any like weird cuts, um, like jumps between the clips, if the desk setup is different and all of that, it's because I had to pause the video, delete some videos, and start re-recording. Um, we should be fine now, but I'm scared. <laughs> um, but yeah, I cut this. I cut a little bit too much here, but I cut a little bit too much here, but it's fine. I don't really mind. This is kind of how it's going to look like. I think I will stick it first and then we will talk about it. Hopefully this will be enough. We'll see. <laughs> we will see. Okay. So I think it will be like this. Ooh. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so here's a little close-up. I hope it's focused. Uh, but to give a little rundown of what I did is I found these pictures on Pinterest. I 
kind of made this little collage on Canva and then I printed it out and then I cut it and I stuck it on the covers. Um, I will talk about the pictures a little bit. I have a little Snoopy with a record player, not a player, but like an actual record, I guess, like music stuff. I really like it. I think it's cute. So it's here. Uh, I have this little picture here. It says always sleepy club members, which I thought it was fitting. I am always sleepy for the most part. So <laughs> I thought it was fitting and I kind of want it on here as well. And then something that I wanted to do with my journals um, or like something that I want to do with my journals this year is I want to include more K-pop related things. So I kind of wanted to start with this one. <laughs> I have two song lyric pictures, whatever they are called, um, from two K-pop groups. This is from Seventeen and this is from Stray Kids. Uh, this is the song World as it says and this is cover me i do like both of the songs very much and i thought that it was fitting um so this is kind of what we came up with you will see a lot of k-pop related things in my journals this year i guess because i do want to include more so we'll see how that goes but this is kind of the first start i guess i didn't want to overwhelm myself with an actual photo of a member so this is kind of what i did but i really like it <laughs> Okay, so this is, like I said, it's ready, it's done. Uh, I will kind of have a little key at some point. Uh, we will work on that together as well, I guess, but I don't know if I want to do it now. I think I will put it aside and at the end we can do it. Um, okay, so I guess we will start with my weeks because like I said, everything is planned and I can actually talk about it now, which is great. Um, so, I don't have a cover for my weeks, I think we all know that by now, and I don't think I want one. Oh, we should stick this, probably. Um, because I really like the texture, and I'm scared that with the plastic cover, I won't feel the texture, and I don't like that, so I think I will go without a cover and hope for the best, honestly. <laughs> um, I hope it's not going to get like too dirty or like too damaged, but we'll see. I'm kind of nervous. Um, actually, since I took this out, maybe we should stick this first. I do want to stick this to the back, I think. I saw someone stick it on the front. Um, oh, actually. Now that I'm looking at it. Hmm, maybe we should stick it to the front. Because I think I will decorate this a lot more. And I think this could be helpful. Okay. I think I will stick it to the front. Um, I need to figure out how first. Okay. So this is a sticky part, I think. Okay, yes. Oh no, there's, oh, oh, okay, 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 got it. It's a whole thing. <laughs> it took a while, sorry. And how do I stick this now? I'm really nervous. <sighs> oh, this means that I can't stick it that way. Oh, 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 okay. So maybe I should stick it like this. Or like this? No, I think this makes more sense. Right? Because like... Yeah, let's do it here. Oh no, I'm so nervous, okay. Uh, I think that's straight. And if it's not, too late. No, I think I did a good job. <laughs> I think I did a good job. Okay. I was so nervous. But I think this works. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what I will put here. Probably some decorations. And maybe I want to use these stickers for my key. Um, so maybe we can put some here. I have these also. I should probably mention these as well. And what I want to do with these is I kind of want to use them as bookmarks. I did the same thing with uh, my bullet journal this year. So I think what I will do is I will just kind of use these as little bookmarks to mark different areas. I'm not going to put them on now, but it's just something to show you. <laughs> um, I don't know if I want to decorate this page, so we will see. 
Okay, this is where things get a little complicated. I should probably just break this fine off notebook a little bit so that it lays flat. Okay, um, I will cover this page with a sticky note. Uh, I got this a while ago, but I don't want this area. So what I will do, let me just open this actually. First, um, okay. It kind the paper is kind of the same color, which I realized this morning when I was kind of going through my stationery, and it just made me so happy because hopefully it will blend in a lot better. Um, so I think I just want to cover this part up like this maybe and I kind of want to use this for something else um, I don't think I will use it for um, important dates I think I'll just use it for like different stuff but I think this is what we will do and I think I will stick this on actually and then kind of because you can kind of still see the lines here um, I think I will just put like a little washi tape here so let's do that really quick I have to be really careful with the pages in this notebook that I and I forget about that because I'm usually not really that careful with the pages especially if I'm like sticking things on but I need to remember that <sighs> okay I think that should be enough Right, I'm really shaky today, so I just, I just hope for the best when I'm sticking these. That's not bad at all. It kind of works. Right, and then for the sticky, I think I just want to use this one. Let's keep it like simple. Um, I have some colored ones as well, but I just want to kind of just go with this one, and then. We can just take this off if you don't want that. Um, but I think it should be okay. Uh, I think this much should be fine. Because I just want to cover... Oh, it's not going to be enough. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, it's not bad. I think I will just leave it like this for now and then we can kind of figure out what we want to do as the time goes on. But I think it looks a lot better. Um, okay, for this page, I actually figured out what I want to do, which is the same. I didn't change anything, but I think I have enough things. I will just get this here. I just, I'm missing one thing, which is fine. <laughs> we will figure it out. Basically, what I decided to do is I will track my reading here. So how many pages I read that day, I will track that there. And then for the yearly index, like the actual index, this part. Um, I will just track monthly statistics. So I want to track pages read, books read. Um, I wear my Apple Watch almost every day. Um, so like if I close my rings, I want to track that, like how many days I close my rings that month. I want to track that. Uh, my YouTube subscribers, my Instagram followers, and my Twitch streams, like how many Twitch streams I did that month. And then I will just have one line that I'm not tracking anything. I'm working on it. I just don't know what I want to track. If you have any ideas, let me know. Um, if not, I'm okay with it being empty, I guess. But maybe I'll find something um, once I kind of start doing this. Then monthly calendars. I didn't really change anything about this. Honestly, it's the same. I will just write my appointments, my tasks, and then underline them with different colors. Which brings us to the topic of different colored markers. <laughs> um, I have um, these Tombows that I bought a while ago. I have a few different colors actually. Let me just put them all here. And I thought we could maybe use them because they're very like light on the colors. They're not really in your face colors. They're very calm <laughs> I have three more let me just pull all of them out even though I know that I'm not going to use some of them like the purple I probably won't use it it's a bit too much <laughs> but I just want to kind of show you the colors 
And I think what I want to do is I want to use them to underline specific events. Uh, but we'll see. I hope that there's not too much ghosting um, in the paper, but we'll see. I might do like a little pen test page at the very last page of the book. So like maybe uh, let's see. Yeah, so maybe here, this could be our little pen test page. Uh, but I'm not promising anything, we'll see. If I do it, I might do it off cam just to kind of make sure that I'm doing it properly, but I don't know, we'll see. I don't even know if I want to do a pen test page, so. But like I said, in this tracker, I just wanna track my monthly tasks, events, uh, probably my YouTube videos as well. Maybe the days that I streamed. Um, those kind of things and then the sidebar is going to be a monthly to-do list I don't really use a monthly to-do list that, that much but I just kind of want to have a place that I can put down the stuff that I want to do if I need them so that's going to be that part and then this little checklist part is I think going to be like a currently list so I have three no I have four check boxes I don't know if it's the same for every monthly I think it is and I think what I want to do with that is just create this um, currently area so the TV show that I'm currently watching the book that I'm currently reading um, the maybe the song album playlist that I'm currently listening to and yeah, maybe something that I'm playing, like a game that I'm playing that month. Um, for the books, I might write all of the books that I read that month. Uh, and for the others, I think I will just choose one and kind of go with that. But that's kind of the plan for this page. Um, I know that I'm kind of repeating myself because I kind of talked about this in the last video as well. But things are set now, and I'm kind of doing this so that I am actually explaining how I'm going to do things. And when I'm setting these up, I think it will be a lot easier for me. I'm not going to set too much when it comes to these kind of things, because obviously it's already like pre-made. So I don't have to, um, I guess, set anything actually like on the paper. So I, I'm just going to explain them. And then I think what I want to do is I will draw like little pictures here. The box is a little bit too small though, so maybe I'm not gonna do that. And then I will just kind of have like a little key somewhere. And then that would make me like remember what we're tracking, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, I think that's all for the monthly. For the weekly, I figured how I wanna use this page. This page is going to be the same. I will just write down day specific tasks um, here and then cross it off as I go. Just like I did with my bullet journal, honestly, it's not that different. For this part, I decided to leave this area empty. And honestly, I don't mind if it's empty, but I might do like little notes here about the day. But if I don't, it's completely fine. I don't mind having this part empty. For this part, I will have a rolling to-do list. So Monday through Sunday I will just write the days and then I will have the habits first probably then I will have like a little to-do list um, and then I will have to film list and I think what I want to have in the rest of the area is I kind of want to get back into learning French because I don't remember much so I kind of want to start from the beginning and relearn it same thing with Korean my Korean is I think it's a bit better than my friend honestly but I want to relearn Korean because I did forget a lot of things I think so I just kind of want to have like a little schedule not really a schedule but like I want to have a section for like um, reading listening um, grammar like uh, vocabulary I kind of want to have those sections here and then as like a task I guess and then I will kind of cross it off on the days that I actually do that studying if that makes sense 
it will make a lot more sense once it's on the paper but you have to wait a little bit to be on the paper because I actually need to use a journal first but that's what I kind of want to do and then if I have space left I think we're just gonna use it for some notes or maybe decorating I don't mind because I don't think it's gonna be too much uh, but this is kind of going to be the same so I'm skipping the pages okay now to the fun part <laughs> um the notes section is going to be my reading journal we i think i said this in the last video it was pretty sad as well but i did some math <laughs> um here where is it okay <laughs> i did some math here so basically what i kind of wanted to do is i just write down this is the math part, by the way. Um, I kind of write down what I want. So I want a cover page, a reading journal cover page. So that's one page. And then I think I will use this for 14 months, consider or at least I want to use a reading journal for 14 months. So I did 14 monthly cover pages because I do want to have like a monthly cover page. So I kind of edit that and then I obviously want to have a page for a book just to be safe I was like okay what happens if I do it like if I read four books a month what happens then and then as I calculated these it was 71 pages and I have 73 I think in the book which will be more than enough because I honestly don't think I will read four books each month this was just me saying like okay what if I did that I think I will just read three books max, maybe not even three. So, um, it's just, I kind of wanted to be safe, but I know that if I do that, I will have enough pages, so I'm not worried about it. Um, so this is going to be my reading journal. And then, like I said, I will just have like a little cover page here and then a November page because I want to tr start tracking my readings starting in November. Um, I think we can do the cover page together. I don't know if I want to do it now, like I said, I might just kind of explain what I want to do and then we can do the setting up part in the next video, I think. I think that's what I want to do um, because I don't want to rush through it. I'm so excited to use notebooks, but I'm just scared that if I make like quick decisions, I'm not going to enjoy it <laughs> and then will go to waste so I think I will just not do that um, I want to have a pen test page like I said like I mentioned so I'm thinking maybe I could just have this page as a pen test page and kind of test some stuff here and then figure out what I want to do and how I want to do things uh, I just realized that I also want to have a key and for that hmm Here's what we can do. Oh, actually, before I jump into that, let me just say what I want to do with these cards and then let's do the setting up because I feel like it's more... Before I actually start with the key and stuff, I kind of want to explain what I will be doing with these. So for the favorites page, I have 14 um, boxes. So I thought what I could do is I will pick a book for each month and then kind of have like a little, little um, summary, not a summary, but like a review and then obviously how many stars I gave it. I think what I want to do is I want to pick a favorite book from each month and kind of have it here so that at the end of the year I can just look and be like, oh, okay, this month, this was my favorite book. Um, so I think that's what we will do. I thought that it was fitting since I will have like my reading journal here. So that's what we will do. Here, I decided to use it for tracking the places that I go. So the places can include like museums, restaurants, cafes, um, all of that stuff. So I will kind of just use this part for that. Um, I will just write down wherever I go, I guess, because I kind of want to keep track of those kind of things. 100 should be enough. I don't really go to like new places that often, like cafes and restaurants at least. 
uh, but if I do, I just have a place to write them and kind of try to keep track of them. I think it might be fun, <laughs> but we'll see. I will keep you guys updated on this one. Um, there's nothing that I need to do here. Oh, and for this day's checkoff sheet, I decided to track um, my diet, but I think it will be fun to kind of see how that ends up looking at the end of the year. So that's what we will be doing. I will start this on the 1st of January, I think, because I do want to track a whole year. Um, but that's kind of what we will be doing. And yeah, I think that's all. All right. So like I said, I want to have a key. Um, where's my bullet journal actually? In my bullet journal, I had this little key and I think I will use the same key over on my Vicks journal. And obviously I might add some colors, but this is kind of the main key. And I don't really have a page to do this, I guess. Um, because in my cousin, I did plan a key page. So I will explain what I mean by that. But um, I think what I want to do, since I will kind of decorate this page, but not really. Oh, I can actually have my key here maybe, but then does that hmm I thought I could have my key here I could use one of these sticky notes and kind of stick it and then have my key here um, or if I really want to decorate this part which I don't really know if I want to I can just turn this into the key now I'm not sure because I was not planning to use this part I'm not very sure about this. Let me know what you guys think. Like, should the key be here or here? If I have it here, I would have more place to decorate. Hmm. I think I want to have it here, guys. Actually, now that I'm like thinking out loud, I think I will have the key here. And then I do want to print out some photos. I will probably not stick them on because I do want the ability to change them so i don't think i'm gonna stick them but i could use these clips that i showed you that i will use as a bookmark on here as well and kind of like clip it here and i can kind of change the um pictures i think i like that idea i think that's what we will do so i will have my key here however i think i do want some of my post-it notes here so I'm thinking, there's a lot as well. I'm thinking we could have a few. I could just kind of have this much and stick it here. So that if I need any post-it notes, I know that I have some here. Because I will take this with me um, around, like it will be in my bag. And if I need a post-it note, I know that I have some here. I think I kind of like that idea. We'll have them here. Mm, I was gonna have these here, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm probably not gonna use this much Because I'm not going to be taking notes in this notebook specifically. So I think I will skip on that part and we're not gonna have them in this little Corner, but I might have some different stickers actually hmm. Okay, I think I will leave it empty for now because this is going to be more about planning, I don't want to decorate it too much. I, well, I'm not gonna decorate this one that much either, but I still want to keep this more minimal. So I think I will just leave it like this. Uh, I will probably add some stuff here, maybe a photo actually, but we'll see. I have some sticky notes just in case I need that. And I obviously will have my pencil board in this as well. Like I said, I think I will have my key here. And then we just, jump into this little area i will think about the pen test page and if i decide to have one i will make sure to show it to you and update you guys on that as well uh but yes i will keep you updated on that and then with that being said i think the weeks is done <laughs> i don't really have much to say when it comes to the weeks because 
like I said, this is just going to be like a planning system for me. And it's pretty similar to my bullet journal, so I don't really have a lot of things that I can say about this journal when it comes to actually like planning the journal or like setting it up, I should say. Okay, next up, the cousin. I'm excited to use this one a lot more than my weeks, <laughs> um, but I will kind of show you what I'm planning. I think I will leave this uh, pocket empty because I don't really want to fill this up too much. Um, but yeah, okay, so here's the fun part. I still don't want to decorate this too, too much, but um, I think I will keep this in the pocket because I kind of like it. <laughs> so I will just have it, oops. So I think I will just have it here. If I can put it back in, <laughs> there we go. Okay, I think it looks cute. And then I don't actually know. Oh, they, these are out of pockets. Okay. Now, I like I said, I will have a key and I will be using some dot stickers. I don't know if I will use these throughout the entire notebook, but if we don't and if I end up changing them, we could have a different setup. But because I will be using them quite a lot, I think I kind of want some here so that I know that I have... Um, I have them with me and like if I'm not on my desk I don't need to like get up and take one and all of that stuff I think it will be more convenient for me so I think I will just cut a piece of this um, to have it in my journal this is messed up a little bit so I think what I will do is I will just let me let me do this and then I will come and talk to you <laughs> Okay, so I cut this much out, and I think for starters it should be enough, and I'm, as I'm running low on that, I can just kind of have this again and cut it, and then restock it. <laughs> but for the starters, I think this much should be enough, and I think it will be, I will be able to put it like this. Oh no, maybe if I just did one... I mean, it kind of goes in, but I'm just nervous about it being too tight. Okay. I will just get rid of one row because I don't know if I want them like this. Honestly, I don't really care. It's fine. I will just have them like this. I think it will be easier to take them out like this, so it's fine. Okay. And then I will literally do the same thing for this one as well. They have different colors. Um... That's why I kind of want all of them. And I will have 10 different colors and I do think I need that much, so. <laughs> I will also cut this and then be right back. Okay, so I did the same thing with this one. Um, so I will just squeeze this in as well. Just like that. Okay. Um, and then, um, I actually find these things. Um, in my sticker drawer, and I kind of like them, I'm not gonna lie. And I thought maybe I could have, maybe not these ones, but maybe this one here is like a little decoration because I kind of like this. It's a like French market. It's just like a cute little card for decoration. It's basic, these two are just here for decorations. Like I'm not gonna use them. I just want them to be here so that I can kind of look at them and. It will make me happy, if that makes sense. Uh, but they're here. I think that's all I'm going to do with this part. And then... Let's see. Uh, I will probably decorate this just a tiny bit. Maybe like a washi or a sticker. Just one. Or maybe a stamp. That could be a fun idea. But that's what I will do. I'm thinking about if there's anything else that I want to do here. I guess not. Uh, but like I said, just minimal decoration here. Um, I'm not going to do anything here. This is just going to be like this. Um, okay, this thing didn't change at all. I will just write down the thing that I journaled about on the corresponding day. So that's just going to be the same as I talked about in the last video. And this is just going to be a micro journaling about the month. So that's kind of the plan. Again, did not really change. Same thing. Okay. For this part, I didn't, again, I didn't really change much. Um, it's going to be a calendar where I track the things that happened that month. 
I will probably fill this after the event actually happened because I kind of want to use it as like a memory keeping thing. That's probably what we will do. For the sidebar, um, I think what I want to do is I want to do a cur currently box here as well, where I kind of write down the things that I, you know, watched, listened, played that month. It will go here. Um, I want to create like a monthly playlist. I did this in my bullet journal a few times and I really liked it. Basically what I will be doing is I will have a playlist with the songs that I discovered that month. Or not really discovered, but the songs that I listened to maybe a lot that month. I kind of want to have like a little playlist here because I think it's fun to see what kind of music that I listened to that month. <laughs> Even if it's not new to me, I think it's just like a fun little thing to look at. So I think we will have that here. And then here, I decided to put some quotes. I probably will divide this in half maybe and then put a quote here and then decorate the rest or maybe have two quotes. I'm not really sure, but that's what we will be doing. Or maybe I will switch them. This kind of just depends on how I'm feeling. I might just have the quote here and then kind of move the playlist here. We'll see. I'm not like, again, I'm not rushing through anything. So this is just going to be that kind of thing. I think I will decorate the calendar a little bit, but I don't know if I want to use that many stickers. I think I still want to keep it very minimalistic, so we'll see. Th okay, this part is the same. Um, it's going to be it's going to be how I mentioned in the last video, but for the timeline that we have here, I will use it to track my sleep, which I'm excited because I kind of think this will be a lot easier than trying to track it daily. Um, so I'm excited to kind of do this. Um, and I think it will make more sense because if I like sleep at like, I don't know, 11, I can just kind of draw the line. And then if I wake up at like nine, that line obviously goes to like here the next day. So in my mind, that kind of makes sense, but we will see how that works. And honestly, the rest is just going to be about the day. Like I could just like say, I woke up like feeling like this. If I have lunch, um, I could just put down what I ate for lunch or if I was out, if I was a if I was with a friend, I can just put that down here. Um, I think I will kind of somewhat stick to a timeline, but not exactly. Um, I don't really mind if things are a little bit messy here. Um, I just wanna, I just wanna track the day basically. So that's going to be it. And I, I saw this um, in a video recently and I thought it was so cute, but I think I will track the weather here because I don't really have anything that I can do on the top part it's just empty so I thought that I could just track the weather I could just put like I will just say like cloudy I will put the degree here and then kind of see <laughs> that and I think it will be fun that's the plan for the weeklies again I don't feel like I'm going to decorate this too much with like a lot of stickers um, I will probably have some photos, a few stickers here and there, and I think that's about it, honestly. And then this part, I have no idea. <laughs> this is just going to be an area for me to put down any notes that I have about the week. Um, maybe photos, if I want photos and I don't want them here, I can just have them here. Um, I need to figure out the size situation. Actually, Hobonichi recently posted a size guide, I guess, um, on their Instagram. I will put a picture here, uh, but I think I will just kind of, I will use that, but I will tweak it a little bit because I think I want bigger photos, but I will let you guys know um, how I did it. <laughs> when I, once I figure it out, I will talk about that as well because I think that's important. But I can have like photos here if I don't want them on the actual day. I think that might be cute. Um, I will probably decorate it, but not as much as some people do, I think. Because I still want to keep it minimal. 
and I do want to write a lot in this, so that's kind of what we will do. Um, and then we have this turning the page to a new year page, <laughs> which is going to be... I need my bullet journal for this. I will literally copy this <laughs> here, and then I will just have a little page here. And then I don't think I will have my key here, because this is how my cover page looks like in my current bullet journal. But I think what I will do is I will co uh, copy this page. Don't really care about this page. I have another idea for the key, so I will not do this here, but I will just copy this page. And then I will just put down my, I did a bucket list last year. Um, so I think I will just have the bucket list here this year as well, but obviously it will be next to the cover page. That's kind of my thought for this. Uh, this is again just going to be something to decorate for me. Again, it's going to be somewhat minimal. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and then for the monthly cover pages actually, I think I still want to keep my um, monthly cover pages that I did on my bullet journal, in my bullet journal. These ones. So I will just have like a little quote, a sticker. I think I will just use the same stickers, honestly. I have, I still have two sets and I love them so much. I think they look so cute with this. So I think I will just use the same set of stickers. Um, and then I have my like intentions here. I think that's what I will do here as well because I really liked it and I don't want to leave this page empty. And I don't want to like stick a random picture. So that made sense in my brain. Um, so I will just copy those. Uh, and then my daily pages. Now, I'm excited for this one because I think I finally cracked it. I think I have a plan on how I want to use this. So, let me explain. This is the main reason that I'm shooting this video because I did change a few things and I kind of have like a set idea, which I'm so excited. Okay, so, um, I don't even know how to start. Okay, so I guess we will go from top to bottom. So this part is going to be for important tasks. Not tasks, but like events, I guess. So if I have like a nail appointment, I can put it here. If it's someone's birthday, it could go here. If I'm streaming that day, that could go here. If I filmed something that day, it could go here. And if there's a new video going up on the channel that day, this could also go up here. So just like tasks or events that are important, and somewhat related to memory keeping, I guess. This is where things get a little complicated and I don't know how well you will understand without actually seeing it. But, um, so I will kind of divide this into three sections, I guess. Uh, there's already a margin here, so that will stay. And then I will have a line here. I think I will just draw it with a pencil. A line here so that I will have three different pages not pages but like three different areas in a page and I will do three things in this page I will write about my day what I did that day how I felt that day those kind of things and that will go into this side so like this part so like this part will be about my day and over here, I had a few options, but I think I finally figured out what I wanted to do. Um, I watched a video, um, it was Caitlyn Gray. I will put the thumbnail of the video here, or a photo from the video that explains the page. Because I think I saw that and I was like, yes, this is what I want to do. Kind of. I tweaked it a little bit, but basically what she did is she kind of put like the tasks that she did that day, which what I will do personally, I will just move the completed tasks from my weeks, so from that day, to this part. Just the completed ones, I just wanna, when I look at the page, I wanna see what I actually did when it comes to like productive task related things that could go here. So what I decided to do is I think at the top, I will just have like a tarot card of the day. I will actually show you my tarot deck because it's on my desk. <laughs> and I think it just makes sense to have it here. 
Um, I have a few decks, but this is just the one that I will be using, I think. So you might see these, so you might see this in the videos, but I really like it. <laughs> it is the Modern Witch Tarot deck, I guess. If I remember correctly, that was name. And what I will do, this is the deck that I will be using. I love the art style. <laughs> what I do, what I will do is each morning or night, I honestly don't really care it doesn't really matter um i will just pick a card or i don't know if i will actually like pick it or if i will just like shuffle it and whatever falls that will be the card i guess um but basically i will just have that card and then i will write like tarot card of the day whatever card uh fell out or whatever card i picked and then i will kind of write the meaning of the card both like normal and reversed and then, I think that's about it when it comes to the tarot deck, I guess. I will draw a line and then I will kind of put the completed tasks underneath it. So, basically, I will also kind of divide this into two, I guess. That's kind of what I want to do. Um, that's what I'm planning to do. We, again, this will kind of be a trial and error, this page. But for now, I think that would work amazing for me so that's what we're doing and then this part is just for commonplacing it could be about a game that i'm playing it could be um about the book that i'm reading um just commonplacing so anything that i want to talk about that's not related or like it could be related to my day but if i'm not actually talking about my day it will go here and i will use um these stickers for the key and that's kind of what my thought process was for this and i'm so excited to use it because i think it will work which i'm i'm just so excited but i will do that for each day obviously um and then um for the oops for the note pages i also figured out how to use them as well I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video because I don't remember if I was set on things. But I, for the notes pages, I will kind of have like yearly trackers. So I have six pages and on one page I want to have Adulting 101 where this is just a place where I put down the months in like a rolling to-do list. And then I just do like tasks that I don't want to have to do weekly daily or even monthly kind of put them here and then like as i do them i like tick them so these could be like changing my toothbrush uh washing my makeup brushes um what else like cleaning my storage my phone storage um what else like clearing my YouTube subscription page, um, those kind of things. Maybe like organizing my bookshelf, um, because I like buy new books and then I just kind of like put them in the shelves and then they don't really have like a place to go. And every couple of months I like to take those books and put them to where they should go. Um, if that makes sense. So, but obviously that's not something that I do weekly or even monthly. Um, so just, I kind of want to keep track of those kind of things. So one page is going to be for that. The second page is going to be a wish list. Um, what I will do is I will just kind of, I think I will just draw some lines and I will put the things that I want to buy. And then I will put the price, I think. Although I don't know if I should do that, but we'll see. Um, and then I want to have like a date, um, like if I buy that, I want to kind of put the date here as well. And then maybe a little check, check area so that I can kind of know that I bought that item. Um, so that's one thing that I will be doing. And then the next to it, I think, I think these should be like next to each other. Um, I kind of want to have like, um waiting on list so if i order something online i want to put it here and i want to put like the date that it should arrive and the date that it actually arrived 
uh, so that I can kind of keep track of those kind of things. Because recently, uh, we ordered something for the bathroom, like shelves. Deli it should have been delivered already, but it's not delivered. But it says that it's delivered. It's just like a confusing thing. And honestly, we completely forgot about that. So I kind of want to write those things down so that I don't actually forget and even and either get my money back or actually get the product if something like that happens. So I just kind of want to have a page um, related to that. And then I thought I wanted a key, but I don't think I want one now um, because I think I will have my key in the beginning. I will explain uh, what I will do. But then I thought maybe rather than the key page, I could have like a pen test page again over here. So I think that's what I will do. But that means that I will only use four pages, so two pages will be empty. Do I really care? I'm gonna be honest, not really. But I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. If I find something, I can just edit, and if I don't, it's fine. Two pages can stay empty, I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna use the timetable or the graph paper. I will use my favorites, however. Um, I, for the favorites on this page, I think I will do movies and TV shows. So all of the movies and TV shows that I watch will go here. Um, and we'll see. Like I have one box for each month. And what I wanna do is if I go to the movies that month, actually, I think I will just put it here. And if I don't go to the movies, but I watched, I will probably watch a TV show, if not a movie. Uh, so I can just have them here as well. And if I watched more than one, or like if I watched the movie and TV show, I could just pick the TV show or the movie and put it here. That's, I think that's what I will be doing. And my favorites page, I will track the TV shows, movies that I watched. Maybe, depending on how it goes, I could also track songs as well. But the main thing is TV shows and movies, because obviously I won't be able to fit everything here, because I, I think I will watch more than <laughs> more than 12 uh, TV shows slash movies. Um, I'm slowly getting back into K-dramas as well, so maybe I will turn this into a K-drama one. But we'll see. Basically, this is going to be like a media journal. Everything that I watched will go here, and then at the end I can kind of see what I watched that year. These obviously the okay words to remember. I'm excited about this page. So currently, I'm learning Korean and French. I'm trying to relearn them. I know a little bit of Korean and French. What I will do is I, if I learn them properly, I will be able to speak four languages. So what I want to do is I want to pick a word for each month, and I want to write them in four languages. So Turkish, English. Um, French and Korean. I want to write them all here and then kind of write like a meaning, I guess. Or what I could do, I could just write the English version here and then kind of write Korean and French because those are the ones that I'm learning currently. Um, and kind of have like a little, ex I don't know, like depending on what kind of words I choose, I think this will change. If I choose like simple words, uh, I will just write the English version and then Korean and French. But if I choose complicated words, maybe it's something that I'm not really sure about. Maybe something that I'm not really sure when it comes to the meaning. I could kind of just like write the meaning here and then kind of, you know, write the other languages on top. We'll see. But like I said, it depends on the word that I choose. And the checkup sheet, I will use it for the days that I actually journaled. So if I actually journaled on that day in this journal, I will color it a color. And if I backfilled that day, so for example, since I will start this in January, if I actually journaled on January 1st, um, it will be like green. If I didn't journal in the second day of the year, so 2nd of January, I will, I won't leave this empty, but like if I backfilled it on the third, I will color it a different color. And then if I journaled on the third on the day, like if I also filled the 
January 3rd page as well. <laughs> I will color it the same color as the one, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. If I'm not, I'm sorry, but you will kind of get it once we start using the journal. I think I'm filming this video a little bit early, but honestly, I'm so excited. And I just wanna make sure that everything is perfect and everything is working. So I just wanna film these videos so that I can refer back to them and remember what I said about the pages so that I can actually do them. But I think that's about it. I don't think I'm gonna use this page, by the way. I think that's about it. I'm so excited, honestly, to use them. But now, when it comes to the key, I realize what I want to do. Um, I have this, like, craft set. And in this set, I have this thing, which I use a lot, actually. Um, so I think I will just kind of use this as well on here. And what I think I will do is I will kind of have that key uh, page that I have on my bullet journal on here because I still want to decorate it, but I'm just, I don't know how to decorate, <laughs> decorate it properly. So I think I will just have it here. Um, actually, let's maybe do it together because I kind of want to see it. Um, I will just have it here for now and then I will probably stick this, but I just to decorate it. I think I will we will keep it like this um, Okay, um, so to start off with I do want to use one of these and kind of write key on top Let's see I don't really like that <laughs> um, if I want to use blue. I'm not very sure. Oh, I think I use this one in that journal. And I think we can kind of still reuse this because I kind of like how it looks actually. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. Okay. Yeah, let's use that one. Or maybe this one. Now that one looks better when it comes to the color, I guess. So we will use that. Um, yes, I think we will just have it like this. And <clears throat> I will use one of these here as well. This is kind of going to be like a <laughs> scrapbooking page. Oh, I kind of like this one actually. Maybe we can do that. Yeah, I do like that. I will stick them, don't worry. <laughs> do not worry. Maybe like this and then we can stop key here. Or even I can kind of have it like here maybe. Okay. Let's do it. Um, so I'm thinking like that maybe, yeah that seems right to me, and then I think I will stick this like here, ooh actually top looks better, let's do, let's do it on the top corner, ooh, there we go, <laughs> I will just stick here maybe like this actually yeah I like that okay let's stamp key I will just move these here for now and okay <laughs> let's do this I'm not using my stamps for a while, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> but let's do it. Um, I think we will do uppercase. Um, key. I don't actually. 
I need a Y. Do do do. There you go. <laughs> to do this. Okay. E. And Y. Okay, well, that's <laughs> not really in the same line, but it's fine. <laughs> this is why I like working with stamps. Like, if it's not fully straight, it's fine. Because I was not expecting it to be um, in the same line anyways, you know? <laughs> okay, so we did that. I think I will have my key. Uh, do I need my key here is my thought process now, because I probably won't really use the key, however, we will use these ones. So I think what I will do is I will just have the stickers here. Oops. Um, and I know that I said I might change them, but honestly, if I do, I could just replace these as well, I think. So we should be fine. Let's do, I need 10. I don't, I haven't really calculated this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom, you might not have enough. Maybe I should do five, five. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do five, five, I guess. Okay, I think this will make things a little easier for us. So, one. Three. Please stay. Three. Four. Oh my god, I can't. Okay. There we go. This is literally the same color as a craft paper. <laughs> and we have the red one. So you will have those five there, and then I will have a different, or not different, but like a... I will put them like here. Maybe I could do one square like that. Or we could put it in the middle, I guess. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it in the middle. Oops, two. Um, I know that you might think that 10 might be a little bit too much, but I honestly don't think it is. I do journal about random things, and I do want to be able to kind of reference back to them. So if I do like special interest, if that's one tag, I know that I won't be able to find the thing that I'm looking for that easily. They're not exactly the same color, but they're so close, and I don't. I think I will be able to figure out which one is which. It's like they're, they literally look the same. Okay, we will ditch this one. Which means that we're gonna have less. We're gonna have nine, but honestly, I think nine should be fine. I don't really mind not having one of them. At least it's not gonna be similar and drive me insane because figuring which one I need to use will annoy me in the long run, I think. So this is for the better. <laughs> okay. This is what we did when it comes to the key. And then I'm not gonna fill it out now because I don't wanna do it now and rush through. But just know that these will correspond to something. I promise, just we're not gonna do it now. And I moved one of the dots. I'm not gonna stick it now either because I kind of wanna fill it and then stick it. But that's kind of what we will be doing. I think I kind of like that there actually. And then, like I said, I will probably decorate this a little bit. 
But I think that's all when it comes to setting my blue, setting setting my journals up. I know that we didn't do too much, but like I said, unless I kind of start planning, we can't really do too much. But at least I kind of explained what I want to do with them and we kind of set up this little key um, here. We kind of set this up, which I'm going to start using. Um, and then I kind of explained, like I said, what I wanted to do with each page. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for watching me ramble about my journals. <laughs> that means a lot to me. But yeah, I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. I think this is just going to be my lineup, honestly, for 2025. I don't want to have too much um, journals where I can't keep up with them. <laughs> I think this is this is enough. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you kind of got inspired and I hope that I made sense in the video. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. I think for the next video, we might set up my reading journal because I kind of want to start doing that before November so that I can actually use it in November. But I'm not promising anything. I will definitely do that on camera at least. Well, I will only be doing the cover page, but I want to do it together. So we will do that. And depending on how I feel, I might actually do a little challenges page as well. Uh, I will keep you updated on that. And I will also keep you updated on my pen test page as well. But with that being said, I think I'm gonna go. Uh, like I said, thank you so much for watching. And also I should probably mention that we will do like a proper setup for um, these pages. I will have my key here. For these pages at some point, but I just don't know when. Uh, I might not do it in a separate video. I might do it in a Cozy Chronicles video. If you don't know, that's a video series that I have where I kind of mix vlogging, silent vlogging with notebooks and all of that. So we can do that in that video because I feel like a separate video wouldn't that make sense. It's just a page, but I will keep you updated on that. You will see a lot of these journals starting from this week because like I said, I will kind of start using this in November for reading journal. And also at the end of the November, I will start using it actually for like planning and stuff. So I'm excited. Uh, but yeah, I am going to go now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Thank you.